In the book of First John, the Lord tells us to walk with Him. And to walk with Him, it says, if we say that we have fellowship with Him, with the Almighty God, and walk in darkness, we are lying. We lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light as He is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from all sin. So, that's in the book of 1 John. In the book of Amos, a very important prophet. In the book of Amos uh, 3, it says, Can two walk together lest they agree? See, um, many can get very deceived. The Lord tells us in the Word that if we are in the world, we are at enmity with God. We are in war with God. We are at war with Him. We are not walking with Him. We are war walking against Him. And not in the light, but in darkness. Amen? And so, we got to be careful and examine ourselves to see if we are in the faith. But the word the Lord put in my heart today, it's, it's, um, there's a, there's a great stirring in the spirit for, uh, something very massive that is coming to this nation, coming worldwide. And prophecies will be fulfilled according to the word of God. But, um, this is the word he put in my heart. It's Amos 3. But in addition to that is the Lord is looking for his people. The Lord is looking for his remnant to rise up and preach the gospel. To arise in faith for the kingdom of God is within us. And to blow the trumpet. And the book of Daniel, it tells us very clearly that in verse uh, 1132 thank you Jesus that those who know their God will do great exploits amen those who know their God those who keep the Word of God will do great exploits will be doing the work of the Lord will be doing the work for the kingdom of God amen in the book of uh, Daniel, as I was saying, 1132, I'll read it to you. Uh, verse 32, it says, Those who do wickedly against the covenant, he shall corrupt with flattery. Speaking of the Antichrist, the Antichrist system, just as we're seeing today, the flattery and the lies. But the people who know their God shall be strong, will be strong and courageous. They won't be sticking their head in the sand. They will be going out there and telling others about the Lord. And telling others and trying to get souls saved. Folks. A lot of people want to just sit on their blessed assurance. And let the others handle everything. But that's not what the word commands us to do. We have a great commission to do. We got to be willing. And see this message is not popular. A lot of Christians don't want to hear this. But it's for all of us to carry the gospel. It's for each of us to be responsible. It's for each of us to carry our cross and follow Him. And each of us will stand in front of Him by ourselves, face to face with the Almighty to give an account for what we have done on this earth. And that we fulfill our calling. Amen. That's the word of God. And so if we move on to verse 33, it says in Daniel 11:33, and those of the people who understand, who know the truth, who walk in the truth, shall instruct many. Shall instruct many. 
and that instruction is speaking of instructing others of the truth i'm not talking about uh, of preaching a uh, uh, doctrines of devils i'm not talking about preaching prosperity and uh, flying away prophecies and and uh, preaching uh, uh, lukewarm messages i'm talking about those who know their God will be strong. Those who know their God will preach the truth. The word of God. The truth. There's a lot of hungry souls out there that are starving for the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ. For the, for the truth of the word. He, the Lord Jesus, is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through Him. Amen. And so I just want to encourage us, exhort us to go out there and to reach souls in whatever way that we can. Whatever your circle of influence is around you in your life and those around you, those that you can touch. And that the Lord uh, puts you, he, he does uh, divine appointments to put you in situations where you can be used by him to touch others. And even if it's just for a word of encouragement, but all always carrying uh, the truth always telling them about uh, um, repentance about judgment day we have a divine appointment a divine case in the courts of the living God each one of us each soul that will be fulfilled On the day of judgment. And if we keep that front and center. And understand that we have a mission. And a beautiful purpose on this life. To do what God has commanded us to do. And we have a purpose on this life. To fulfill what God has given us to do. Amen. And so I leave you with those words. Do not be discouraged. Do not be deceived. Don't let your guard down. Do not let your guard down. For great, great shakings are coming. And divine judgments are here. I bless you, precious brothers and sisters. I pray that the Lord is uh, keeping you, blessing you, and encourages you to do uh, all that he has commanded you to do in the kingdom of God. Amen. Till soon again, Lord willing, be blessed.